Eight contestants. Eight of the most qualified juniors and seniors on Oxford's campus. Eight individuals who have proven their worth by overcoming five brutal years of tests, essays, and projects, pushing them to the brink of their sanity. Yet there's one challenge they have yet to face. Will they become the next Oxford apprentice, or will they hear the dreaded words, you're fired? Team 1 negotiates for more supplies, while Team 2 works out a strategy. Sales are made quickly. It's so good. I love it. I love it. You got the money. Alright, alright, alright. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you guys water. I'm gonna have everyone's water. But complaints about quality arise. Who made this lemonade? Gabe. This one is How do you is this? Are you satisfied with no, this lemonade? Wait. What do you think about the lemonade? Oh my god, it's watered down. However, contestants are defensive about their product. Well, it's not watered down. It's just there's more to go around. And it's not overbursting with flavor. How, do, how, how does it taste? Don't tell people. Really good. Are you good? Yeah. I told you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah? You yeah. like it? Yeah. I love it. I love, I love it. it. It's the best lemonade. Who, who did you I've buy it from? Who did I buy it from? I brought it from Tracy and Kevin. Yeah. Okay, go buy more. Go, go, go. Go buy more. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, we're adding a secret ingredient to our lemonade that makes it really good. Only uh -huh. flavor is really concentrated. Near the end of the event, both teams are feeling the pressure. Lemonade? Oh, I'm just scared. Oh, I can't say they put salt in my lemonade. They're stealing lemonade. Like they put all of their salt in this lemonade. Oh, I'll put it back. Yeah, yeah, there's rumors that you put salt in the other team's lemonade. <laughs> no, that's what they did to their own lemonade. Just, I believe that we're um, I think the person who should be eliminated is whoever put the salt in our lemonade. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, we don't want cheaters winning. That doesn't make sense. And I don't know who did it, Gabe, but you know, they should, they should just be eliminated. It just makes sense. It seems Green has overtaken healthy competition. But yeah, we went upstairs and we hit like all the... Cheaters! How is that cheating? That's you perfect. put salt in our lemonade! That wasn't salt me! Salt in our lemonade! That was Gabe! Who was like, so well, that was Gabe! Like, So you guys are proud of you guys? Yeah, we're good. We didn't sabotage we anybody. Could. We played the non Is there anything that you guys could do differently? What would you? What would that be? We would protect our lemonade. Protect our lemonade. Protect our lemonade. Protect our lemonade. The two teams were given a pitcher, cups, and complete freedom to use whatever method uh, within your reach, with one goal in mind: to sell, sell as much sell, as possible. Sell, sell. Uh, after counting each team's total, we've come to a conclusion. The team that proved themselves the most confident uh, at persuading potential customers, demonstrating most of the essential skills necessary uh, in the business world was... Team two? Yes. The contestants make one final attempt to plead their case. I, I left when you guys already ran out of lemonade, so it didn't really make a difference. But then so. when you came back, we had more product, correct? I came back when you came back with the vitamin water, so it was the right time that I came back. Um, I mean, I had like a lot of kids in line waiting to get my lemonade. I had like three or four kids getting buying two, you know, because I was just saying, oh, that girl just walked away with four cups of lemonade, so you know, you should buy some too. And I had so many kids just lining up. I had like three drinks in each hand, like six, and I went up and I sold that. And then they wanted more, so I had to like run back downstairs in heels and go get more. So I think if it comes to reaching out and getting to target audiences that weren't necessarily available to get in, however, this is a game, and I mean, I, I mean, I we, we joked around about it afterwards with the other team. Like I was like, you guys know I would never do that in real life, right? And they're like, yeah. After their contestants justify why they should remain the competition, the no judges races. deliberate. No Although it is a heated debate, they no eventually come to a consensus. I think we feel pretty strongly. You know, we had a lot of a lot of conversations about ethics and about working as a team and working together and working hard um, to, to meet the goal. Um, you know, team two was able to do that. Team one struggled a little bit more. Um, and so um, with that in mind, we've had to let two people go. Very tough decision. Um, but we think that 
it's probably the right decision. So the two people we're gonna let go. The first one is gonna be Jarrell. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I know. And the second, second one was a very tough decision. Um, at the end, it came down to the fact that um, we do want to promote ethics and we want people to work together. And so we'll have to say, Blanca, you're fired. I mean, I, didn't, I, I wasn't here for the, for whatever, whatever we were going to win, but I was here for the experience. But. How do you, how did you like the experience? That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, like it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm a little upset, you know, that it was over, you know, ethics or whatever it was, but it's okay. I'm cool with it. As a contestant, you will take a timed interview for three judges to prove yourself the ultimate apprentice. In professional attire, you will be competing against others like yourselves. This is a real-time simulation that tests how you think and perform under pressure. We will provide the questions to guide the interview, and we expect you to do your best in answering them. The two weakest interviewers will be eliminated. Good luck. Be articulate, be confident, be the apprentice.